Right, hi everyone. Um, this is a bit of a different video for me. Um, this is what I've done to my van, um, my lights that I'd fitted um, in the ceiling. Uh, I think they were constantly making uh, or draining the battery. Um, and in the cold, my van's not the best for starting, as some of you will, will know. Um, so I've made a few alterations, uh, put another battery in. Um, with a split charger, etc., etc. Got my Lakehorn box in. Um, so it's just to sort of take you through what I've done, really. Um, and if anyone's interested, they could probably do the same. Um, this system will actually fit into a car, so if you wanted to power other things. Um, so yeah, this is obviously the light just shining through the window there. And hey, presto, lights that work there. There's another one up there. Another one over here, and I'll show you the pimped out crap in a minute, which uh, I'm not happy about, but there we go, it's done now. Um, so yeah, I'll take you through it, so let's get a light on. Um, first of all, sorry for the vet, this camera work is going to be terrible, but you're just going to have to bear with me. Now what I've bought, I'll tell you what, I'm going to take you off there. What I've bought was this piece of kit. Um, I got this from a company called Force 4 Chandlery. Um, they are a nationwide company and that cost me uh, 15 quid, £14.95 um, and it's a four-way switch and they're all fused as well, five amp fuses in there. Um, it's an aluminium thing, obviously you can see it's meant for boats really uh, but it works very well in this. Um, and on the back of that, all you've got is uh, a negative sort of bar, buzz bar, and a positive. So you connect one to that, one to that, and then take a live feed or a feed from that or from the light onto the other side of one of these. Very, very easy to wire up. Um, and like I say, I mean, I don't know why the lights come on when it's on, but um, I suppose you can see which one, which one it is. But 15 quid for that. Um, and that that uh, works very well. So let's leave the main ones on. As you can see, nice and bright. Um, also, up in there, I've got another one. In there, you see. So that powers that. Which, at night, would be like a little reading light. Um, anyway, over here, I'll tell you what, I'm going to put you back on the stand. You'll have to bear with me guys, because I film on my iPad, and I've got no other means at the moment. Um, I did have that SJ4000 that Paul Forrest Prepper kindly got me, but the batteries don't seem to last. Um, so yeah, anyway, this is, I can't get you back far enough, <clears throat> this is the, the sort of other uh, rig, for want of a better word, and here's my Lacorn box, which is just fixed into this with a couple of battens at the top, and then two little uh, chop blocks that are just fixed in there, and that just slides in there. Um, and there's no way that's coming out. And obviously these open up. Like so. So I've got a nice cooking area. I've got a few things in there at the moment. That's got to be um, pimped out a bit more. You see I've got three 24 hour ration packs which, uh, which are going to stay in there all times. Oats and stuff. Pot noodles for the kids. Um, teas, coffees, that sort of thing. So I've still got a long way to go on to that, but what I did do, because obviously you can see, well you can't see actually, um, it's quite dark up in here, and if I were to open the back doors without any lights on, obviously you can see it's it's uh, quite dark. So, with this switch here, and that doesn't look very good, but obviously that will light up this whole area. So if I turn that off, you can see 
that'll light up that, and that's just a bit of uh, uh, not rope lighting, I suppose, for want of a better word. And all that is is done. You see that? I'll move that. There's a little switch just there, and that turns that on quite simply. Um, so yeah, Lakehorn box fixed in. Um, and that is very sturdy actually. So let's just shut that up. It says. Bear with me guys, you know my film's crap at the uh, best of times. Um, right, let's see. Let's put some more light on. And I'm going to see if I can... Show you the um, the brains of it, not the brains, but what we've got going on. Right, okay. So this box here again. Let's take you off. Now then, where are we? There we go. This little box here. Is a small charger. Okay, now I've got that from a company called Simply Split Charge. Right, I've just noticed I've just been waffling on for the last ten minutes, and it wasn't even recorded. I'd hit the uh, hit the button. So I got that from a company called Simply Split Charge, and this is his card. There's his numbers. There's the web address. Um, it's a guy called Mick. Um, oh, there you go. There's all what he does. Um, speak to a guy called Mick. He's very, very helpful. Um, he's got there's endless amounts of charging systems, battery chargers, um, anything for auto electrics that you could ever want. Uh, phone him up. He's more than happy to help. A really, really helpful bloke. You tell him what car you've got, van, whatever. He can make you the leads or you can just buy the, the, the raw materials and make them yourself. Um, I think to buy all the bits was about 75 quid. And for 80 quid he made them up. So I was like, crack on Mick, uh, get that done for me. Um, it's just a case of wiring it all together. Very self-explanatory. He does provide you with um, a full set of quite intricate instructions um, well not intricate but um, <coughs> comprehensive let's say comprehensive instructions which are very very easy to follow if I can do it anyone can do it um, and if you have any problems you can phone him up and talk to him while you're doing it but he's a very very helpful guy so Mick if you ever get to watch this thanks buddy thanks for your help um, yeah, so I'm not sure where I, where I got to before I stopped recording it. So let's, uh, if you've already seen this bit, I do apologise. So what we've got, okay, we've got the split charge system, the box there, or the split charge relay is what that is. You're not seeing any of this. It's a little bit better. And all you have is a live feed that comes out the split charger to the battery. And it's a one way, so nothing's going back. Um, and your main battery will not be affected by any of it. So this is like a big uh, relay, big switch. So power comes in. When this sense is above, I think it's 13.2 or 13.8 volts at your main battery. It then lets the charge through and charges this one. Um, so absolutely brilliant and if for instance your battery ever did go flat you can take this off take this out and obviously use it as a as a jumping battery um, and then you have your negative feeds which i've just bolted to the chassis down in there so i haven't got to run big long leads um, or you know i've only got to run a live feed and not the the negative um, and that just bolts down to the chassis as does one on the split charge relay. And then I've got two leads, a positive and a negative off of here. 
which I've wired into a positive box and a negative box. There are other ways of doing it. I just had these bits lying around or found them on site um, and I've used them. Um, and for me, it was the, for my logical brain, that was the way I found it easier to go. So I've got a positive and a negative there. Um, is it we still, yes we are. Um, what I also got from Mick was this switch and in here we've got a 12 volt like a cigarette lighter thing so for charging up whatever you like um, or heat a little heater I'm going to get a little 12 volt heater which I'm going to put into there so if I'm camping in this when it's cold that will be straight off of there and it won't be draining the main battery just this one um, and also it comes with lit, lit up look and there's two USB um, chargers in there or to, you know so you can charge your phone iPad that sort of stuff um, and this is man enough to charge a phone and an iPad that's you know all that sort of thing um, this is fused um, back in here I've got a fuse block in there and um, five I think a five amp fuse in there obviously I've got all my fuses there um, this is the little switch that I bought from Halfords and that cost me a fiver. What an absolute rip-off because it's got a light on it. Um, but it's all I could find at the time. Um, I wish I'd have bought, gone back to Mick at Split Charge and got him to do it for me. Um, so yeah, I don't know um, if I've done that. Look, I'm going to pause the video and um, if not I'll take you through the lake on box if I haven't already done it. Just a minute. Right, right back. yes, I have done the Lakehorn box, I think. Um, so yeah, this is all, so let's turn that off. <coughs> Very easy to wire, guys, like I say. Um, I do apologise if I'm repeating myself because I don't know what I did this one or when I didn't record it. Um, this I made clad paint, I don't know, remake it. Um, so it was all made from scraps. Um, light switch there switches for when I'm camping here this is where my bed will be and then obviously I've got use of all this I've got to make a cover for the battery or for the battery terminals just in case um, yeah so I've got two switches one there and one that does the little circular one up there um, these this rope lighting is what I had to spare off some cabinets that I made and they were just odd, odd ends. I thought, well, they're only 12 volt. I don't need a driver for them. Great, I'll use them in the van. Um, so that's that. Um, and I did, or I made, when I made all this and fitted all this, this was made for, for lighting to go all the way around the edge. There's a bit of mood lighting, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, it didn't quite work out as I planned because I fitted it all in. And again, they were all at odd, odd ends. Um, and if I turn these lights out and turn it on, you'll see what I mean. Yeah, bright blue. Um, it wasn't meant to be, but that's what I had. So for the time being, I've got a blue light around the top. Um, don't know whether I like it or not. If I ever get a chance, I may, uh, I may change it to white, but. If I like it, great. I mean, at night it is quite bright actually. Um, if I don't like it, um, I don't have to turn them on, do I? Um, but yeah, there we go, guys. So we've got plenty of lighting. Um, we've got sockets in the back, like I say, and none of this, which I'm so glad about, affects or drains from the main battery. Um, and I have got, like I say, it seems to be, I'll always have like a backup charged or semi-charged battery um, in case that one ever goes down so um, yeah there we go any questions guys your thoughts on it anything I could add um, yeah great if you don't like the video give me a dislike I love them thanks guys um, yeah so all the best hope to see you at the next one I will be going to Edale um, it's, a, it's a long trek but I'm not paying bushcraft show prices um, so I will be coming up to Edale so this will be there, so anyone who wants to have a, have a little look and uh, I can show him in more, 
more detail with exactly what I did and how easy it is. Um, I shall see you there. Um, yeah, great. Also, just uh, a note to add on the end of this, the Camp Shaky crew, um, all of us, um, or all of us, most of us, we can't do all weekends, but we're doing uh, the Cotswold Way Walk, which is 102 miles um, for the Royal British Legion, uh, for homeless ex-military guys um, and everything that the Royal British Legion do. Um, check out the website. I will try and put a link um, under this video, if I can, if I remember. I will remember, but if, if I can do it. Um, we're doing it over three weekends in March um, to hopefully raise as much money as we can. I will try and put the link to the donating page and tell you all about it. Uh, check out the Camp Shaky website. There is a, a piece on there that Johnny's done for us. Um, but we will be doing, um, I think there's 10, 10 of us or so, split over three weekends. Now, not all of us can make all three weekends. Me especially, I can only do one due to family and work commitments. Um, but that's what we're hoping to do. So go on over there, check out the, the Camp Shaky website um, with all the information on there. And if you'd like to donate anything, it'd be greatly appreciated. Um, if not, if I don't see you, see you there, um, I will, def like I say, definitely be at Edale um, in, I think that's May, end of May, um, to see all you boys there. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching guys, uh, I'll see you in the next one, cheers.